Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I have some great news for you. Well, I don't have great news. Well, I do, but it's actually the people at Red Hat who have great news for you. And that is that their operating system, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, is going to be completely free of charge. So you can download this operating system starting from the 1st of February, completely free from their website. And you can use it if you have up to 16 production servers, you can use it completely free, no charges, no shenanigans, no trials, nothing of that. This is actually going to replace their CentOS, which is their community free edition of Red Hat. And this is going to disappear. So CentOS is going to disappear, uh, but don't panic just yet because there's gonna be a newer version of CentOS instead. Now. This newer version is not the CentOS that we knew. The newer version was announced last month and that's the CentOS Stream version. CentOS Stream is actually a version that sits in between their cutting edge Fedora Linux and their Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And so when you're working with CentOS in a server, I don't know what the future holds for you because I don't know if Red Hat is going to keep supporting it. I do think they will. I think they just have to. They have to keep supporting it. Uh, and by the way, it's a community version, so probably the community will keep it up to date in some way. So I'm guessing that you'll be fine up until the latest support date, but you won't be able to download it anymore after, uh, after they stopped supporting it. But yeah, this is actually the future of Red Hat right now. So Red Hat is gonna go free for people who are using it at home. And I think that that's a good thing because right now CentOS seem to be this elitist version of Linux that you can only download if you are an expert at Linux and whatever, and you have to pay like thousands of dollars to get a subscription to Red Hat. But that's no longer the case now. If you're a home user, if you wanna try it out, it's just gonna be the same as with Ubuntu. It's just going to be a download from their website, just a click away and you can start using Red Hat at home. And that's the thing because right now, the, that's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a division between the two, right? We have Red Hat and then we have CentOS, and people who use CentOS might not even know that they could actually start using Red Hat without any prior knowledge of Red Hat because it's sort of the same. But now that they can start using Red Hat, people who are starting to use Red Hat will be more likely to use Red Hat in their production environments. That's a good thing for Red Hat, of course, because it's gonna drive up their sales, of course, because right now there's probably a lot of CentOS clusters out there because it's free. Why would you care about a paid version if there is a free version? Of course, some people will probably choose to have Red Hat because of the support you get from Red Hat. But for most people who are using CentOS, it's the same reason as why they are using Ubuntu. It's because it's free and now they will have up to 16 production servers for free but if we're gonna go over that which to be honest a lot of um, a lot of those enterprise companies will have over 16 servers running they will have to pay for that subscription this is going to drive the amount of administrators that work with red hat up and so that's going to be a good thing for red hat in general right if they're going to have more people that know their operating system that's going to drive more administrators towards Red Hat and more people who are actually going to be specialized in Red Hat means that, yeah, there's gonna be more support for it and so people will be more likely to buy their subscriptions. So it's a good thing for Red Hat as well as people who want to get to know the operating system of Red Hat a little bit better just for personal reasons or for professional reasons. It is just a lot more accessible right now because it's free and it didn't used to be free. I know whenever I wanted to dabble around with Red Hat a little bit, I had to pay for a license or I just got the trial version and I downloaded the trial version, but after like 30 days it expired and there I was, I didn't have Red Hat anymore. And so I started dabbling around with CentOS a little bit. But I have to be honest, if you are a beginner and you work with CentOS, even though they say that it's a free community version of Red Hat, it doesn't really make you very confident that you can actually administer a Red Hat server. Whereas if you're working with Red Hat directly, uh, you can download it for free and play around with it a little bit at home. It will give you a little bit more of that confidence and it will, I think, be good for the Linux space. I think it will be good for people who are system administrators who are working with Linux that they can now use it at home and start, uh, yeah, they can start experimenting a little bit. So yeah, this was just a little bit of an overview of the article that I found on Ars Technica. Go check them out. I'll link the article 
in the video description. You can, you, you can read a little bit more, uh, but I'm already excited about this. When this comes out, I'm downloading it immediately and I'm probably gonna do a little bit of an overview on the channel here, so stay tuned for that. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you're excited as well. And also follow me on my socials, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram and the links for that are also in the video description. Okay, thanks for watching guys, bye bye.